Hey, it's the Terminian Hero here, and we're playing some more Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. And we are headed on to Honey Marsh. Thanks to Jimmy Bob Squarepants over there. It's so funny that he he has that he has the name Jimmy Bob, and he's definitely voiced by the same guy who voices SpongeBob. Anyways, we get to ride this honeycomb now. We're always riding something different going to all these levels, and I always gotta point it out, because it's always true. And what else am I gonna talk about during these loading screens, honestly? I mean, it looks like there's a storm in the background, so that's something, I guess. So yeah, this is a honey-themed level. The third honey-themed level in the series, because there was also a honey-themed speedway in Year of the Dragon, as well as a full-on honey-themed level in Season of Ice, I believe it was. It was either Ice or Flame. I think it was Season of Ice. But I could be wrong. Welcome to Honey Marsh, Spyro. Them Ripcock critters have messed this here place up, but good. I tells you what, I'll make you a deal as sweet as honey. There are some honey stills draining all the honey from Honey Marsh. You help us get rid of them, and any of them there dragonflies you're going on about that you find along the way, you can keep. Just keep that between us now, yeah. I wonder if Sparks would talk if I didn't have Sparks. That's interesting. You're bothering me, son. I said quit bothering me. Okay, fine, SpongeBob. Anyways... So these beehives just seem to be containers I can destroy. Man, it's crazy that pigs are fodder in this level. I guess, you know, we're really showing the true colors behind Spyro and Sparks after the whole Luau Island level. They said they wanted some hot dogs, and looks like they're getting it. But at least the pigs in this level are more animal-like, and less person-like. Hello, you shoot a laser. You've got a squirt gun that shoots laser beams. That's interesting. This level has 800 gems. From the last level onward, the gems start at the highest amount and go down by 100 for each level until they're at the smallest amount. So the la so Monkey Monastery was 900, this level is 800. The next level will be 700, and then the final level will be 600 gems. So, I could really do for a hot dog right about now. It looks like there's a mean bee here.
These laser beams are crazy. I'm not really sure what to do about them. How do you dodge something like that? Also, did do we have like an infinitely looping B sound effect or is that like, or is that supposed to be there? I haven't glitched the sounds, have I? I hope not. Alright, so we fixed one of these things, it looks like. Got a bunch more of them to go, though. I see you hidden life. Nothing to jump back to it seems, so let's just keep going. There's another one of these things we need to fix. Those darn laser beams. Okay, two of those down, four to go. They seem to be going quickly. The bees surprisingly haven't been a problem yet. Those gems are kind of just out there on their own. Okay, come on. Now I don't have sparks. That is a problem. Partially for collecting gems, but honestly mainly because that means I'm probably gonna die. I see that laser beam guy up there. Is that a thief? There's a thief up there. I see the pig! Was that a crazy laser beam that was going by my screen? How did I survive that? Also, is there stuff down there? It doesn't look like there's stuff down there. Unless it's, like, right in the corner here. Nah, it doesn't look like there's stuff down there. Don't want to deal with those laser beams, so we've got a challenge portal over here. We'll take care of that thief later. For now, let's make sure we fix this thing. That's half of them already. I assume we can get on top of that flower. I know there's flowers like that in this level that we can get on top of. I'm not really sure how we would reach these ones though. So maybe not here. Or maybe I just don't see how to get up there yet. He just runs across that liquid honey. I could flame him, but I flamed the last one. Alright, we just... Yeah, we just get a dragonfly for this one. He doesn't have a key as like a middle step or anything like that. 
Okay, I'm fine with that. So I know that if I go into that challenge portal, then when I come out, the enemies will be back. And I kind of don't really want that. Hello. You're just hanging out back here. Hey, it's Suzuki. I think we've got just about everything here. Yeah, everything else is on the wood or higher, so... Yeah, I think I'm about ready to try out the challenge gate. Let's go, let's see what this one's all about. I really can't remember off the top of my head. We've had two repeat challenges so far in this game. And I'm sure there's at least one more speedway. Welcome to Honey Marsh's Sticky Swamp Shootout. Us honey folk done love shooting stuff with our tank. We're giving away a dragonfly to anyone who can shoot down all them at target. You think you're dragon enough to handle it? It's a blast! <laughs> okay, so it's another tank level. We already know the controls. You think you're dra- Alright, so we can either say no or nah. Let's say no. No problem. Great! Make sure to shoot all the targets before your honeycomb boat gets to the end of the course, or you'll lose! Shoot all the tanks, bees, and grenade rip talks. Don't worry, they are highly trained and extremely well-paid professionals. Nobody will actually get hurt. Well, almost nobody. So is this an... No, this is not an auto-scrolling one. Or it kind of is. Because we're going to be riding this stuff. I also see that it's timed. So that's interesting. What shot me there? I need to know what's dangerous so I know what to avoid. Well, I see there's a tank here. That's definitely dangerous. I guess we're not getting those guys, but they don't seem to be targets anyways. These bees are definitely targets, but this one's being really hard to get. I legitimately don't have the time to deal with that. Why are these guys so hard to hit? Oh, 
Am I gonna have to use first person mode a lot more? That's probably the way it's gonna have to be, huh? Well, I'm just about dead, so I'll try that on the next attempt. Whenever you're riding one of these honeycombs, it always forces you into first person. Some of those were just blowing up right in front of my face for some reason. Yeah, I'm out of time. You'll have to try harder than that to clear the sugary sweet sticky swamp shootout, Spyro. Hmm, try saying that six times. But come on, give it another try. Uh, I'm not gonna attempt that tongue twister, actually. You you're dragging enough to handle it? It's a blast! <laughs> you can attempt the tongue twister, though. I'm sure it's quite the challenge. So yeah, lesson learned, go into first person mode whenever the bees are around. So I know there's bees up here. Something hit me. I'm not entirely sure what. It looks like those one guys were throwing grenades at me, it looks like. Why am I being redundant? That is really difficult, because those guys are super hard to hit, so I don't have the time to actually fight them. And there doesn't seem to be any fodder in this challenge. Are you kidding me? Why were those blowing up early? Well, now I can't win, because I can't hit those guys. Like, there's no reason to really even continue now. Although I guess we're at the end anyways, so... At least I've seen the whole course then. Does it let me go back? No, it doesn't. <laughs> I don't know why sometimes my shots just blow up in mid-air before they reach their target. It's really actually a problem. But hey, despite taking a lot of damage from these guys, I didn't die. I haven't died yet from any of this. I've just run out of time or missed a target. Let's get rid of these guys. They're a pain. I don't need them sniping me while I go for these bees. What is hitting me? Are the bees hitting me? Because I defeated all the guys that were behind me.
All right, that's all of them down. Now let's just not mess up the auto scroller here. Okay, so those guys went down. Yeah, they're all going down easy now. I don't know what the problem was before with everything blowing up ahead of time. This guy snipes me, okay. Good, we got it. Awesome shooting, Spyro. You sure you ain't my fifth cousin? Congratulations, you win the grand prize. Well, maybe not that grand, but hey, it's awful pretty. <laughs> hey, it's Blisk. We're all out of them dragonflies, but you can play the sticky swamp shootout again if you want. You know, for fun. You do know what fun is, don't you, Spiro? You think you're dragon enough to handle it? It's a blast! Ah, <laughs> uh, nah. We're done with this one, so we've had a second tank one. One thing that's kind of missing from this game is that, like, in Spyro 2 and 3, the characters didn't know what the orbs and eggs were. Like, they always thought it was something else, or they had some other use for it, you know? In here, it's just always a dragonfly, and they just always know that it's a dragonfly. So it misses a little bit of that creativity with what the NPCs would use them for. Anyways... Now we can move on here. This life respawned, of course, so let's get it. Is there something hidden back here? There's not, really. I'm kind of surprised by that. They put the platform there and, ev and everything. Anyways, let's just get rid of these bees, or at least those ones. From here, I want to go back while being up top here. There is a gem over on that platform, so I'm gonna have to watch out for that. Hey, it's awesome. Doesn't seem to be anything on that flower. But there is something on that flower. I thought so. Got another life over here, and it looks like there's a key over here. So there should be another chest. nothing over on this flower though I still thought I'd check though so 
yeah, these guys are back, and I don't want to get hit, hit by laser beams, so... Yeah, let's just get past these guys and never go back. Not dealing with those laser beams. Nice, I pounded that bee. Whoa! Is that honeycomb sink or something? Or is it doing that because I pounded it? That's crazy. I didn't realize that was a danger that was here. All right, that's another one of these down. There's only two left. I think it did that because I pounded it. Because these ones are fine. So now we just have to descend down the flowers here. Which seems easy enough. There is a little hidden place to go to over that way though it looks like, or maybe that's just how to get back up. I think it's just how to get back up. Yeah. All right. We've got an easy dragonfly here to capture. Hey, it's Swan. Swan wasn't going anywhere. He just sat there waiting for us. got another one of these things if we can reach it but we're about dead here so we've got to be careful just one to go and there's a lot of guys with laser beams so we're probably pretty much dead Can I go straight through all these gems and get that guy? Nice. Is there a pig anywhere near here? I'm not seeing one. We got ourselves a problem here. Well, these here rip tops have set up shop in our trees. They're using them bees to launch attacks on us. If you could wipe them all out, I'd be much obliged. When you're done, go see my second cousin, Warren Bob. Cool. Now it's time to go kick some Riptop butt. Well, them beehives are pretty tough, so you're gonna need to swallow those rocks and spit them out like watermelon seed. <laughs> so Sparks briefly appeared there, even though he didn't talk. I guess that's just what happens. 
when you talk to NPCs, since there's a chance that Sparks could talk also. I see the final thing up there. But we'll get to that in a second. We want to do this mission first. So yeah, they brought back, you know, picking up the rocks and spitting them out. Why did it show a zero there? And why can't I pick up more? There we go. So do I want to hit the hive instead? Is this a valid strategy? It looks like it's spewing fire everywhere, but it's not really. Let's get you out of here, because you're a problem. I don't like having you right by the thing that I restock to hit you. The rest seems easy as long as I successfully make the jumps, because I can hit everything from far away. I'm not sure how far away, but far away enough that they're not gonna hit me. So are those things affected by gravity then? Cause that definitely sunk, I don't know if that was weird just cause I was on this, you know, bobbing platform when I shot it. But yeah, it definitely sunk. So we've just got two more hives to get. We probably don't have to get rid of the bees that go with them. And we probably don't actually have to go out here either. But it's all going pretty well so far. So, you know, why change what I'm doing? That looked like it was good height, but it went to the side because of the way the platform was bobbing. I mean, if I can finish this right here, right now, just by doing that. Okay, well, apparently the tree was in the way because it extended a little further over than it should have. In that case, I do want to get rid of this bee over here. Just for some extra safety, you know? I don't think I actually would have had to go near that guy, but... I don't know. I don't know how big a range these guys have. That one just died on its own once we got rid of all the hives. They probably all would have fallen once I did that. So this guy said to go talk to someone else, but I haven't 
I don't know who to talk to. I don't believe it. You did it! Uh, it was no sweat. Yeah, but I didn't think you could really do it. Now I owe Jimmy Bob five bucks. And you owe us one dragonfly. I sure enough do. Here you go. <laughs> hey, it's Lily. This guy told us to go to Warren Bob when we were done with that, but he was the guy who gave us the dragonfly. That's weird. My daddy always said, if you're gonna be dumb, you gotta be tough. And he's just about the toughest little fella I know. Good luck to you. Ouch. <laughs> that was quite the line. So we can clearly get up onto those trees, but we have to climb a little higher first. See that dragonfly over there on that stump. Oh hey, and there's the end of the level, of course. I saw this vase hiding down here. Can't hide from me. Hey, it's gory! Yeah, a lot of these dragonflies aren't really running from us anymore. Here's our chest, which is probably another dragonfly. Cool. Hey, it's Tim! We've gotta have just about everything in this level now. I mean, we've still got one more challenge gate to do. which is probably just past the end of the level on the loop back to the start. That seems to be how things have been for a lot of these levels now. When am I gonna find some more fodder though? feel naked without sparks. Here's our last one here. Thanks for your help, Spago. I haven't done it yet, though. How about now? You did it! You saved us a whole mess of trouble by getting rid of them nasty critters. Glad I could be of service. Here's a dragonfly for you, little fella. Don't spend it all in one place. Hey, it's Haka. Well, I was gonna keep that dragonfly as a pet. But them critters are just more troubles in their world. Besides, they got them bug eyes, too. Mm, gives me the creeps. Yeah, tell me about it. Hi! 
<laughs> Anyways, so here's the end. I see that little pathway back there. These gems are a little too close to this portal for my liking. But I managed to collect them all, even though that one was stuck inside the portal. Thankfully, I didn't go through it. Again, would be really nice to have sparks about now. So we've got some whirlwinds back up from the start it looks like. There's our other challenge portal. I would like to get these remaining gems first. Just to make sure that these are the rest of the gems. I very easily could have missed some since I've gone such a long time without sparks. Like, you know, this one here. Is this the last one? Not quite, huh? I could have missed some on the pathway up here. At the very least, we can get sparks back. Finally. You're bothering me, son. I said. We've already heard that. So let's head back up here backwards, see if there's anything Sparks can pick up for us, and at the very least we know there's a challenge gate up here. Are there any gems on the way to the challenge gate? It doesn't look like it. Any in here that I missed? That's concerning. So we're missing two gems, huh? Probably just one green gem, but potentially two red gems. They could be anywhere. Ouch. I had a feeling that would happen. So where does that put me? Okay. I really don't know where these two random gems could be. I hope an enemy doesn't have them. Do I see a gem up top there, or is that the person? That could be the person.
I don't think I missed anything out there. Yeah, I would say let's just go to the challenge gate for now, like I tried to do a little bit ago, and then let's run through the early part of the level again. So here we go, what's this one gonna be? We've had three repeats so far. Sparrow, that darn BS one of the dragonflies. Can you chase him down the slide so we can get the dragonfly back? But be careful, he <laughs> he's got a stinger that whip my bad back right into shape. All right, so we've got another slide. Sounds good to me, but how do we make two challenges out of this? Do we have to beat the bee to the bottom of the slide? Is that what this is? This is a race? But yeah, because normally, like, there's two challenge portals, and one challenge portal gives one dragonfly, whereas the others get two, or like the other one gives two. And the first one we went to, the tank one, only gave one, so this one should give two. The last rate, or the last slide gave two. So I assume it's gonna be a similar thing here. This slide seems a lot easier than that last slide. Like, I wasn't supposed to catch the bee, was I? I'm just supposed to beat it to the bottom? I'm pretty sure. I think so. Good job, Spyro! With your help, we managed to stop that bee right in its tracks! He won't be bothering anyone anymore! I've got the dragon box over too! Here you be! Doesn't sound like it's given us another challenge. Also, I didn't hear Spyro say the name of that dragonfly. That's interesting. Was that a glitch, or did he just not have a voice line for that? So yeah, we may have broken the pattern, because both of those challenge portals only had one dragonfly. Unless one of them did have two? I don't know, I'll have to check the atlas, because it didn't say we got all the dragonflies either. At least I don't think it did.
Oh, but we must have, because we have a multiple of ten on dragonflies. Yeah, we got all of them. We just need those last two gems. Wherever they are. I don't think there's anything down below us here. No, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, so I guess let's just run through the beginning here again. You never know when they're gonna be around some corner like this. They can definitely be tricky like that sometimes. And there's like so many platforms here, like it could easily be just hiding behind the edge of one of these platforms. I really want to go back and get sparks now. Oh, here we go. Instant full sparks back from that life. I kind of wish I had that ability for sparks to point towards any missed gems. That would be very useful about now. I never actually went down here, but there doesn't actually seem to be anything there. Okay. Had to check, though. Did I just get hurt and then not actually lose health? That was odd. It could be in one of these tree trunks, actually. I could see myself missing one in there. Oh, never mind. There's the two over here. There we go. That's everything. Level complete. And now we just have to get to the end portal, because that's how I do things. Shouldn't take too long. Kinda wanna get rid of all these bees along the way. Alright, the ending's right up there now.
Yeah, and these laser guys aren't being any problem now. They are done being a problem. We have learned their strategies and we have mastered them. Now to take our nice little honey ride back as we sail away from the storm. But really, we're sailing in circles. We'll make it there eventually. There we go. So yeah, that's that. Time to go to the complete opposite side of the hub again, because that's where the two remaining levels are. Is anything interesting going to happen on our way back through? Well, that's interesting. You know what? I am gonna make an alternate save here. Whenever I do this, I save three times. Because I make my current save, then I make my alternate save. And then I want to switch back to my first save, which you do by saving again. So yeah, why don't we end off with this? Because yeah, this is something special. This is where Ripto went. It looks like a challenge gate, except we're dropping into it. It's pretty cool. Oh, if there's anything I hate more than a dragon, it's a purple dragon. You've caused me enough problems, Spyro. This time I'll take care of you permanently. Pocus! Pocus! Yeah, so it's time for a final boss fight. We're fighting Ripto now. And he's wrecking us bad. I'm not entirely sure how to avoid his attacks there. But our fire breath can get rid of that ice. 
I don't know how to do this. What do you want from me, game? So you just dodge the attacks for a while and then... But yeah, you can't use fire on that. Okay. You can't attack the things when they're coming for you. But you do afterwards. That's really weird. Here's some health. It's really awkward because those single ones home on to you. Man, he comboed me there. This is actually a really hard final boss. And if you're wondering why we're doing the final boss now, it's because we can. And then we'll have to fight him again later, but you'll see. So like, am I actually doing anything to him? Because I'm honestly not sure. It looks like those things are getting smaller, so I'm inclined to say, yes I am doing something to him. Don't you dare, okay. Man, he had to have been really close. It's just so hard to deal with those homing attacks. I can deal with these ones where we just jump over them, but then I have to be ready to hit them right away. But I think I'm getting the hang of it. I think we've got it this time. I wonder if my wing shield could be useful for some of these attacks. I'm kind of at the point where I, I don't want to try it out now. Alright, well, I was gonna say maybe if we were at the start of an attempt, and now guess what? We are. Okay, so that doesn't work. It really hurts when he combos ya. Yeah. 
So yeah, I'm hoping that this fight kinda ends whenever you hit him after you get past his little shield there. I don't really want this fight to go on longer than that. Okay, so he's super close to being done, and we've only taken one hit. His shield surely has to disappear with the next hit, right? Or not, I guess. He takes so many hits. Why? He didn't even do three of the ground ones that time. My gosh, it's still going. Alright, I've gotten rid of his force field. But he's still attacking me with this stuff. I mean, I'm hurting him. of dragons can't last forever, can it? And that's that. That's our fight with Ripto. And we beat the game, but there's still two more levels to do. So, since we still have to beat the game again, I don't really want to sit through the credits here. I see Gory in the credits there, and that was the name of one of the dragonflies. I see Gaku, Gaku as well, that was a dragonfly name. Rick was a dragonfly name, I'm sure, yeah, there's Sylvia, Amy. I'm sure that like a lot of these are the name are are the names of dragonflies or other characters. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of them. Anyways, yeah, we'll look at the credits later. For now, let's just head back in and see how things have changed now that we've defeated Ripto. The portal to Ripto's lair was just open, too. There was Nothing telling us at all that he was available to fight yet, or that he would be available to fight at that time, which is just really interesting. And the only thing that's really changed is that we can't go fight Ripto anymore. Ah! 
So, yeah, that's strange. That fight was just the bear. And that's about it. Anyways, let's head to the entrance to the next level. Which is called Thieves' Den, I believe. And it should be right up here and over to the left. Yeah, through there. You did it! Wow! You're even shiftier than me! That's enough magic to make this cover fly up and away! Hop aboard! So yeah, we can get to Thieves' Den now, which is what we'll be doing next time. I'm the Terminian Hero, and I will see you then.